So in this video, I'm going to show you three drills that focus on how to separate your upper body from your lower body. So it's commonly understood that separation between the upper body and lower body in the golf swing, something known as sequencing and rotational force, is really important to producing lots of club head speed and freedom of motion. This is a motor control pattern, so the ability to utilize your body in different fashions, stabilize in one area while rotating or mobilizing in another area is a technical skill. These drills are going to help you gain some feel and awareness of what that may look like. So the first drill we're going to focus on the ability to rotate the pelvis while keeping the upper body square and stable. This could also kind of act as a bit more of a mobility drill with the hips as well. Firstly, you need something where you can put your hands flat up against that's going to help keep the upper body really stable and almost the trunk, the core engaged. And walls will typically do the job. I'm going to use this. So I'm going to go into like a bit of a golf type posture. I'm going to almost feel like I'm really gripping or pushing against something that's stable, keeping a little bit of knee flex. All you're going to try and do, imagine like the, the chest stays square face on. You're going to try and rotate that pelvis in both directions as far back as you can, just holding for a couple of seconds in each position. A good feel is imagine you've got a pocket on the back of your trousers and you're trying to push that as far backwards and around. So you're really trying to get that turn, lock it out, feel like the upper body isn't turning with it, staying nice and square and repeat. So the next drill, we need a golf club or an alignment stick, and you're going to place this across your shoulders. You can use another alignment stick around your belt loops if you want to help give you that extra bit of awareness. This is going to focus on what maybe the X Factor stretch may look like. It also helps promote a little bit more understanding of where different body parts will be moving. Now this is obviously a coordination drill and a motor control, but it also may show up some limitations in your mobility. So firstly, just going into golf posture type position, can you just rotate the chest in both directions without moving the lower body, just to get a feel of what that is? Then can you feel like you turn that upper body and almost feel like you rotate your left hip or your lead hip for a right-handed golfer? So you see how I've got this full turn on my shoulders and then I'm trying to keep that pretty much in position and turn in the opposite way and then finally can you get that lead hip open and try and create some rotation in the opposite direction so what we're doing is really starting to separate the upper body from the lower body and create that awareness of what it looks like so the final drill you're going to need a resistance band not too strong attach it to something high up like a wedge it into a door something like that you're then going to take your lead arm, so in this case my left hand, try and get it quite high up so there's not so it's quite tight and you're feeling like you're almost lead arm stretching upwards and then go into a golf posture. So you're essentially creating like the top of a backswing position in theory. From there, just feel like you're going to turn and reach a little bit higher to get that stretch across the lead lap. And then from there, I want you to try and open up that lower body like you're creating that sequence in but you're not pulling down on the band. So that's kind of locked in, that's loaded, that stretch. And then you're trying to feel that lower body, create the force and feeling like you're trying to open up that lead hip. If you found this video useful and you want to see more content like it, please hit the subscribe button.